Hey guys, how you doing? <clears throat> I'm just making a quick video here of a, a new handgun I picked up by Springfield Armory. I did the coloring there. The case does not come with that on there. I put that on there uh, just to give the case a little look. Uh, which The case is fairly solid. It's a, it's a really nice case. It holds the gun nice and tight. There's no wiggling around inside or anything like that. Let's open it up and see what we got. It is the XDM 10 millimeter. Very nice gun. The and the, the case is really nice. I mean, it, it holds everything nice and tight. It comes with two magazines, two 15 round magazines. Comes with two extra back straps, uh, some key lock, uh, trigger locks. Sorry, uh, a couple extra fiber optic sights in case you want to replace it. One's red, one's green. Um, got a little pack of lube here. This trigger lock has come with it when I bought the gun, and I just haven't thrown it away yet. So that's the one that comes with it, but it has other trigger locks over here. And back here you have all your paperwork for the gun. Um, if you want to go online and do the warranty, it tells you, you know, the site I guess to go to. Um, so anyways, let's take this out and see what we got. First of all, like I said, it's got two 15 round mags. You can see there, there's 15. They are metal, very well constructed. Now to load this, is it, the spring in here is pretty tough. So I would suggest using a loader with these. Cause I mean, just after a couple mags, you're gonna start hurting your thumbs. I mean, we all know how that goes. Um, so I would recommend using a loader with these magazines. Now the gun itself, is it's just awesome i have nothing bad to say about this this handgun it's got a nice trigger guard it's got your rail here for your light your laser uh, this is the four and a half inch barrel right there 4.5 uh, it's got a nice nice grip it's not it's not the best grip in, there ever has been but it is very nice it does come with the smallest back strap already installed. So I just left it on because, I mean, it felt great. So why mess with it? Uh, it does have two safeties. One on the trigger. And everybody is not so favorite. The grip safety. But I don't mind the grip safety. Once you have a good grip on it, I mean, you, you don't even know it's there. So it don't bug me whatsoever. And it's got really deep serrations got three here in the front I guess five back here I mean even if your hands are wet you, there's no problem it's you can grab a hold of it it's very comfortable I had a Glock 20 I had a Glock 20 um, and after getting this one this is so much more comfortable um, it's much more accurate for me um, I just like it so much better, um, especially the grip. The grip is, I mean, it don't feel like a brick when you're grabbing a hold of it like a Glock does. Um, it does have a striker indicator. Dude, this, this is a striker-fired pistol. So as you can see, there's, you know, nothing there. And there's your striker indicator. You can feel it. You can see it. And it lets you know it's ready to be fired. And right here, you can see that little part right here, it's your chamber indicator. So when there's a round in the chamber, the front of this will tilt up. And same thing as the striker indicator. You can feel it and you can see it. So there's no question it's ready to be fired. It's already chambered. So I love those two options. The, well, not an option. It's made every XDM is made with that. Um, I just love those two features right there. Um, now the mag release is ambidextrous. You got one right here and you got another right here. And the mag just, I mean, it pops out quick. Even an empty mag where there's no weight to it. I mean, it just, it slings it out. So you can do that or you can use your trigger finger, your trigger finger and do it. 
So, it's very nice. Now, to take this apart, to clean it, is very simple. You just push it back, lock it in place, take your lever here, push it up in the front. Hold your rail, release it, and just pull it off. Just like that. That's all there is to it. It does have a polymer frame. Very lightweight. Uh, it's got some good sized rails to it. Um, now the spring here is pretty serious. I was told it was 21, 22 pound. But it's, as you can see, it's a serious spring. And being a 10 millimeter, you need a hefty spring. I mean, as you can see, it's almost the length of the the slide itself. But I have no problems with that. And the rod is a steel rod. It's hollow. So we can get down in there and look. There you go. It is a hollow rod, but it is steel. And I have no problem with it whatsoever. It does great. And here is your 10 millimeter barrel. It's got standard rifling. See if we can get in there. Now you can see a little bit down in there. Uh, the ramp is polished. Makes it a lot easier to chamber your rounds in there. Now, on these, the XDM, the M stands for matching barrel and trigger. They say it improves accuracy um, and all that. And I mean, I kind of believe it because this is more accurate than the Glock 20 I had. And another thing, I really like about this barrel is you can shoot hard cast through this barrel through the stock barrel unlike a Glock where you have to go buy a you know a lone wolf barrel or or something like that just to shoot hard cast out of it if you like shooting hard cast and uh, I don't see no need of spending six seven hundred dollars for your gun and then another 150 250 whatever they cost for an aftermarket barrel just to shoot a hard cast bullet so this one you don't have to it'll handle any bullet that you want to shoot through it and to put it back together is you know just reverse the process very simple slide your barrel in now the barrel does have a really really good little notch right there for your rod to sit in and to put this now to put this back in is is, is a little bit of a push so some of you might have to stand it up like this you know and slide it in and some of you can hold it like this and slide it in either way it takes a little bit of a push to get it in there and there you go now to put it back on you just line it back up slide it lock it in place and pull your lever down and that's it that's all there is to it so I have no no complaints. I have nothing bad to say about this gun. It is a great gun. It's handled every round I've put through it from 100 and what was it, 145 grain extreme penetrators, 165 grain bonded full metal jackets, 220 grain hard cast. It's handled every single bullet with no problem whatsoever. And uh, I absolutely love it. And uh, this is my new favorite handgun. I'm just a 10 millimeter freak in general, but this is my new favorite handgun is the XDM 10 millimeter. So that's my little review on the XDM 10 millimeter. And uh, here shortly, I'll be making another video of taking it to the range and putting some more rounds through it so you guys can see. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you on the next video.